And guys, look at this. Ford Sierra 2.0i. And this is a tourneur, so the estate. It's also a long time ago when I've seen the last ones of these. And most probably this one is not the last one. It's also looking amazing inside. Not sure if you can see it through the camera. Wow, this is amazing. And this is amazing, guys. And the funny thing is, I'm remembering that I've bought in last year a model from Matchbox of the Ford Capri. And this, guys, is the Ford Capri L, the Mark I. And I would even say that this is even having the same color like the one from Hot Wheels, uh, from Matchbox. Loving these uh, fake air vents on this one. Very nice design. So this was it's 1,300. So this was um, our European pony car, of course, with a 113 engine. Um, this is not a fast car, but well, it was a beautiful coupe, long hood and everything. Beautiful, beautiful. And guys, look at this. We have here an Opel Ascona C2 because this is the facelift. You can tell it by the um, grille and the white indicators. And it's a convertible cabriolet. These were never sold from factory like this. There were a handful of companies who did this job. One is called Kainat, but this is most likely not a Kainat because Kainat has its own type and the nameplate. But well, amazing looking. This is a huge truck, and right beside we have a Mercedes E Class convertible A124. And let's figure out what this uh, red truck is. I'm guessing it's a Chevy, but well, if it's a Ford, then you can have a big laugh about me. And well, I was very close. This is a GMC. You can still laugh. <laughs> Here's a tiny little Sprite, I would say, Triumph. What's the Sprite, the Triumph? Mm, probably not. There stands TR3. So this is the yeah. I'm thinking the Sprite was uh, the the Austin Healey, and this is the Triumph. So this is TR3 with its little frog eyes. And here we have a, a Chevy Corvette. Um, I would say it's a C6. If I'm wrong, you will notice it either by the comments or. Maybe I figured it out before when I was creating the video description. And look at this guys. TR3. And let's zoom in babies. To take a look into the inside as we I'm usually saying. Sneaky peeky or looky looky. <laughs> And what I'm knowing for sure, this guy is a Chevy Corvette C3. Coke bottle design because of these hips. And here, Stingray. Almost looking like a Ford logo. <laughs> <laughs> but I stand something else than Ford. And guys, here is another Toyota Land Cruiser. And this is something to be called an off-roader, not an SUV because this is really made 
to go through the muds and everything. It's a 3.0 turbo. Ah, I'm remembering this front. It's very similar to the Forerunner. Forerunner had a very similar one, but of course it's not the same car. It's a very different one. And I'm coming towards the end, but well, here we still have found something, or at least I. It's a BMW 3 Series convertible the cabriolet, as we're saying here in Germany. And this guy is here we have a Scirocco Mark II. This is a GT2. Just to show you, these are all the cool coupes. Most likely not the fastest ones, but these are cool. It has the black black uh, daylights and it was just only with some black stripes so not uh, laminated like as some people are doing which is not allowed here <laughs> and this uh, Beamer is a 320i and here's a Nissan um, let's find out 200 SX people having these ones for quite a long time so I had to figure out what the nameplate was so I'm guessing that's it for today so thank you for watching the um, what was it called the whatever in <laughs> the image clinger the classic car meeting at the image clinger Oh well, and at the end I was still finding something. This guy is, by the way, the Audi TT. That's what I was telling you before. It got the nameplate, like as the old ones from NSU. Also, they are only just small coupes. But more looking like tiny shrink Porsche. And last but not least, I just saw this Ford Fiesta Mark, well I have to count now, uh, uh, 4, it must be the 4, and the facelift. These also have been very popular back in the days, but nowadays, at least in my area, you don't get to see them very often. This guy is most probably also becoming a future classic. This is the Peugeot 206 CC. This is the one with the electric uh, roof. So this is a cabriolet or convertible. When I was about to leave, I was seeing this cool Volkswagen T1B bus coming. The B is the one with these, um, with these little indicators here, with these nipples. <laughs> and the, uh, the T1A didn't have them at all, and the T1C had these more flat ones. I was uh, guessing that wrong in the last time when I was talking about the T1 bus. This one is a little bit ratty in look, but it's uh, looking like it was made extra to look like that, so... Small, tiny T1 bus from Volkswagen.